Here's one of the latest interviews from Rock and Metal Revival. If you want to hear the whole show, go to rmrshow.com. There's brand new music from David Schenkel and the David Schenkel Group. It's called Still a Warrior. And, uh, Jerry, that album is kicking ass. It's some rocking stuff, I man. love that tune. And on the phone with us, uh, former Man of War guitarist David Schenkel. Welcome to the show. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. All DSG Man of War fans out there. Thanks for listening in. Glad to be here. How's it going, guys? Fantastic. It gets better every day when we get great music. And uh, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the David Schenkel Group. We, we just turned on to your band. Well, uh, to make a long story short, I was in Manowar for just about seven years, from 88 until the end of 94, going into 95. I did the double platinum CD with them, The Triumph of Steel. I toured in about 29 different countries with them, did a bunch of live videos and DVDs. We did the Man of War reunion show in 2005 in Germany. 70,000 people had all three guitar players, me, Ross, and Carl, and all three various drummers that were ever in the band, from Rhino to Scott Columbus and Donny Hamzik. And uh, it was really great. Then we went back in 2007 when I had the Hellborn record out on Man of War's label. I put two records out with them, Ashes to Ashes and Hellborn, after I left the band, went to college at Roosevelt University, got my degree in jazz, classical guitar, music theory. Then I signed a deal with Joey because we're still brothers of metal. And I put out Ashes to Ashes, which we did a video for that song. And also for all the heroes of 9-11, I did a track called Calling All Heroes, which did very well for us. Then we did the Hellborn record in 2007. And yes, before anybody says anything, it'll be eight years this July since my last record, but it's out. It's on Pure Steel Records. It's kicking ass. The single's been out for almost four weeks, Still a Warrior, available on iTunes, SoundCloud, Amazon.com, CD Baby. The record came out April 24th in Germany, and it's out worldwide as of the 28th, and you can get it on all the online sites and at puresteelrecords.com directly. There's 10 songs on there, and uh, I'm proud of them. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of, couple of little surprises. There's a, a track on there that's a guitar solo called The Demonic Solo. It's from the movie Jezebeth, produced by Damian Dante, Jeff Swanee from Dark Star Records, and Lloyd Freeze. And uh, they, wanted to, they wanted a crazy solo for like a minute and 40 seconds to be in the movie for this girl to act like she's playing guitar and she's a vampire. <laughs> so they shaved the hair off my arms, painted my fingernails, and they filled my hands up close playing the demonic solo. And then they dubbed it in on her, and they did a pretty good job. <laughs> so that turned out pretty well, and then I stood in front of a green screen, and they actually filmed me playing the demonic solo, and it's been up on YouTube and all my sites since the end of 2009, and good news is journalists are starting to hail it as one of, not the, one of the fastest guitar solos out there, and maybe for once Guitar Magazine will recognize that when they put 50 fastest guitar players in there. Maybe it'll finally get noticed if it doesn't. Me, myself, and I, my fans, my students, my friends, they all know what's going on in that solo, and that's good enough for me if I don't get gratification from Guitar World magazine. But it would be nice, you know? Yeah, So it would we'll be see nice. how that goes, guys. Well, I also saw that online on your website that, that you do uh, some uh, online instruction on, on guitar playing. Yes, I've been teaching professionally for over 20 years, and I've been doing Skype lessons for just about seven now. You know, if you've got high-speed Internet connection, a computer, a webcam, I see you in your room, you see me in mine. My lesson books are included in the fee, and anybody can get a hold of me through both my Facebooks, David Shankle 1 or David Shankle 2. We have the DSG Fan Official Musician page and a David Shankle Fan page, and we have a brand new website, which is just www.davidshankle.com, and everything on everybody in my band, all the records I've ever been on, our swag, information, lessons is all you can find out through the website or through my Facebooks. So do you teach beginners, intermediate, everybody? everybody? Beginners, intermediates to advance, whatever your level is, I'm there to help you reach your goals and gear you in the right direction. Music theory? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. How much are these? Cause I'm, I suck at theory. <laughs> well, 
Well, it all depends on what you want to learn. You know, for general lessons, it's $130 a month paid to my PayPal, and you get two one-hour lessons, and you can be flexible with the lessons, and my books are included in that fee. Some guys out there are charging $250, $300 for two lessons. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. You know, it's hard enough times out there for people trying to keep their house and make a mortgage payment, and sometimes they don't want to pay a music teacher lessons for their kids when they're trying to keep a roof over their over themselves, you know. Yeah. So you know, 130 bucks for two one hour lessons spread out over a month is a fair deal, and my books are included with it. That sounds like cool. a great deal. Now, cool. David, do you find uh, there's a there's a young uh, younger youth movement of people trying to learn uh, these shred techniques and and metal oh, guitar? Yeah. Yeah, especially especially these days. Back when I was learning, you didn't have YouTube, you didn't yeah. have the internet, you didn't have all the instructional DVDs that are out there now. You could go on YouTube now and pop in killer jazz riffs or super shred arpeggios, and there'll be one of a hundred people up there you've never even heard of breaking down cool arpeggios or whatever, depending on the style you want, besides mm -hmm. the people that are known. People like myself, Joe Stump, Michelangelo Badio, you know, Rusty Cooley, we're all good friends, and we all have our own kind of instructional things. It's all who you like, who you want to go after, who you emulate, or who you want to take lessons from, because there's something out there for everybody at all levels. And YouTube is a wonderful tube, uh, or a wonderful channel, to get your stuff up on there for yeah. people to see you play. They didn't have that 20 years ago. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. So, so you teach more than just the drop D tuning. <laughs> yeah, the one finger yeah. chords. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of bands doing drop D tunings and they don't even play lead. I teach music yeah. theory and shred guitar, classical guitar, jazz, and teach you how to read music and how to understand when you're playing pentatonics or all your modes and scales and arpeggios, how that stuff comes together to where it can make sense, to where you yeah. can learn to play lead to chord progressions and not just sit around and noodle and wank and not be able to play the stuff, you know, to sound good within a band and over a bunch of chord progressions. There's a lot more involved in shredding to just shred you know there's yeah. learning how to actual shred and understanding how it works at whatever level mm -hmm. very cool because i'm a i'm a noodler and a wanker <laughs> <laughs> well for all things there's a first time i also wanted to mention there's a track i'm proud of on the record called the hitman it's an instrumental Ooh. track and it features six other great guitar players that are friends of mine that I've played on their records several times. they played on mine. I've got Roger Stauffenbach from the band Artention back in the Mike Varney days. Great guitar player. I played on his last record called The Pharaoh. Uh, Tommy Vitale is a wonderful uh, solo artist overseas. Uh, Parker Lundgren, the guitarist from Queensryche who plays mm -hmm. with Michael Wilton, mm -hmm. he does yeah. a solo on there. Nice. T.D. Clark, a good friend of mine from we Chicago, know. I played on him. two of his records. This will be the second one he played on with me. Uh, the wonderful Joe Stump, it's his second time performing on a record with me. And Michelangelo Badio. Uh, he's got a new record out now, too, called Shred Force One. He plays on the record, and I played on his second-to-last record called Hands Without a Shadow, too, on a song called On the Double. So we're all good friends, and we're, they're all playing some ripping solos with me on the track called The Hitman. Well, that's, that's awesome. Cool. I can't. I'm looking forward to turning that up. Yeah. Real and when I send you over the away files, you'll have a picture of the album cover, a photo of the band, and a flyer that we're promoting with all the guest artists on it as well, bro. Sweet. Oh, awesome. Now, Sweet. now, David, any any plans on uh, maybe doing a vinyl version of this? Uh, the record company, Pure Steel, has talked about releasing a limited run of vinyl. We're hoping that may be available in the next three or four months. We just got the record out, so, you know, Chipster, who's doing a great job promoting and setting up interviews for me, besides the record company, we're getting the record out there to the mass and, you know, and getting feedback and online radio stations, magazines. We just did a brand new photo shoot last Sunday with Dan Minchin, who, who actually did the album cover for Michelangelo Badio's Hands Without a Shadow and has done stuff for Amthrax and tons of other great bands as well. So we're getting all those photos together now, so we're going to be releasing with Chipster and the label a handful of new photos of the band and individuals and uh, plus my new 
signature line of guitars. I'm with Grossman Guitars out of Romania, and I have the new DS7 and the new DS6 shred machines, and we're coming out later this year with the 6-string and 7-string 31-fret shred machine flying Vs as well. 31-fret flying V? Wow. Yeah, it goes That's... up to high B, and nice. I'm working with a company called Madison Amps, a gentleman by the name of Norman Cox. We're building the David Shankle shred head. It's three channels of 320 watts of just shred friggin' power, man. <laughs> so that'll be coming out in a couple of months as well. Does it go to 11? It goes to 400. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. We're way past 11. That's beginner <laughs> level. We're way up in the stratospheres, 400. So are there any al- any songs on the new album you think would have benefited from adding some more cowbell? That would have benefited from cowbell? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Being not a really. metal we might have could have thrown some cowbell in on Glimpse of Tomorrow, but when you hear the song, I think you'll be happy with just the way it is. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we wanna... you know, all the songs on the record are progressive power metal with neoclassical super shred guitar, but my singer, Warren Halverson, for me, is my favorite DS singer to date. And, you know, there's a lot of versatility in the songs, and when I need him to sound like a Dio or him or a Tony Martin or a Don Dockin or a Dave David Coverdale, you'll hear throughout the record where his style of vocals can change and fit those songs. For nice. me, the most radio hooky kinds of songs in a metal way would be any song on the record, but if I wanted to be technical, you got Still a Warrior, Glimpse of Tomorrow, Across the Line, and Suffer in Silence. All right, well, I'll tell you what. would be your closest radio. Everything else is a lot heavier and coming at you more full force, which is what I like to do. That's what we're all about. Well, we're going to play one of the fastest, not the fastest, but one of of the the fastest fastest thrash solos of all time. We're talking about uh, Demonic Solo. And, David, you are welcome back on this program anytime. Okay, I appreciate that, man. You guys play my music. It's people like you that really help keep the bands out there and support the bands and keep us alive and going because without you guys, you know, it, it's really difficult to get it out there. And we, we appreciate my band, Warren Halverson, Gabriel Anthony, and Mike Stryker. We all appreciate what you guys do, man. Thanks. thanks. Thank you. To catch the whole show of Rock and Metal Revival, all you have to do is check it out on these affiliates. Mega Rock Radios on Saturdays from 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Rock 101 KLOL on Saturdays 11 p.m. Eastern on Z-Rock 106.9 KKZR Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and on Uncontrolled Noise Tuesdays at 1 a.m., Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and on Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern on uncontrollednoise.com. And make sure that you leave them a message and tell them that you found Rock and Metal Revival on their stations. Enjoy this edition of Rock and Metal Revival. <laughs> 